welcome to Tuner Tips by Todd Herbert. In front of us we have the X-Star MC4S. This is a Type-C powered lithium ion and nickel metal hydride battery charger. I got this off Amazon for $13.99. It represents a bargain value for a nice four bay charger. I'm going to use this to charge my radio batteries and my flashlight batteries because I don't need a fancy display and these have predetermined charging outputs. I'll show you how that works. So look at the box, X-Star. Uh, this brand was recommended by a lot of my viewers, so that's why I picked this up. Um, the MC4S model, they believe they have a two model also, it does two cells. Down here you can see a uh, little uh, flavor texture, portable and cost effective. Yeah, it is very lightweight and small, which is nice. Side here, Type-C power, portable, easy to carry, LED indicators, can you talk about those? Uh, here we go, apply to, and it shows the different battery types it can charge. Now I would recommend uh, charging probably batteries in the 16340 range and higher because this charger charges at a minimum of a half an amp, and a half an amp might be a little too much for a 10440. Same with the uh, quadruple A or triple A uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. I recommend fast charging double A's or higher on those. It cannot charge protected cells the 2700s or the 21700s. That makes sense because those are very long batteries. So there is the box. Um, on the back here's some more information. You can see its input is 5 volts, 2.1 amps. It gives you an idea of the constant current. And of course, I'll show you how that is. Pretty simple. And here's a uh, little bullet points also. You can quickly look through those. Some of those are very important. Go ahead and take a look there. Boom. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. Um, it's a little tricky. It's, everything's packed in here really tight. So give me a moment. The unboxing part is always enjoyable. If I can get it. Yeah, that's in there pretty good. Okay. Comes simply packed. There's our charger. And the inside there, I'm, there's a manual. That's good to see. And I think there's a cable. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and set the box aside, and we'll look at the contents. So first things first, of course, I always like to show we get a Type-C cable. There you go. Nice. Next, the manual comes in a bunch of languages. I believe when you open this up, you will see English first. Let's go ahead and see if that's the case. Okay, here we are, English. And you can go, we'll just quickly go down the manual, and then we'll talk about this charger. Again, the battery types they're recommending. Like again, I'm I'm thinking stick with the 16340s or higher. And again, with the nickel metal hydride batteries, the double A's are higher. Uh, here we go. Here's our charge slots, and we'll talk about the constant current that it uses. And uh, here's some of the end of charge voltage on lithium. It's a smart charger, so it will charge the uh, batteries. You can put independently uh, nickel metal hydride and lithium at the same time, which is really good. Uh, zero volt activation function that's pretty nice um, so it can revive uh, dead or over discharged batteries and there's a little color meaning we'll talk about that okay anti-fake I guess there's people that counterfeit these things um, on the back of the box was like a little thing you could rub off to check to make sure yours is good <laughs> you can call them and ask is my number good and they'll tell you okay so that's the Go ahead and get to the charger. It's right here, pretty small. Uh, I do like its size. We'll go over dimensions. Um, it's three and three quarters across, three and seven eighths high, and one and an eighth inch in depth. So it's a very portable charger. You can definitely take it with you on the road, auto, truck, RV. If you have your adapter in the car, you can just plug it right in and you can be charging your batteries before you get to a campsite, an RV spot. You're ready to go with your radio or flashlight. It's a pretty awesome setup. Okay, so let's look at the features of this. Um, actually, you know, I could do a size comparison. Let me do that first. Um, deck of cards, yep. Iron Man. So it's just a little bit bigger than a deck of cards. Pretty cool, give you an idea. And then of course, I always have my CC Pocket handy to give you an idea, <laughs> next to a nice portable radio. And you know, this, I use uh, nickel metal hydride batteries in it all the time. And I use my dedicated chargers like this X-Star to charge those batteries, which works out really nice. Okay, and then, yeah, I don't think I have anything else handy there to show you, but there we go. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about this charger and its features. So it's a simple construction, it's very lightweight, but it seems well made. Um, on the back here you can see the type C port. On the front we'll have four LEDs for status and they, color, they change color. So when I plug this in you'll see there'll be solid green, that means standby, or the batteries are charged. And of course when they're solid red that means they're charging, and if they're flashing red it means you got the battery in backwards. If you look positive is towards those LEDs and negative is towards the bottom of these springs. Pretty simple setup there. Now the way they built this, you can charge flat tops and button tops and you'll see the different styles. I'll show those in use here on this charger. On the back, it's vented at the top. That's where all the circuitry is at. And the bottom here, it shows you again the different types that can charge and then the output currents. Now if you look really close, each cell bay has little numbers. This one says half amp, one amp on these outside ones, and the inside ones say half amp. So this is really nice. I wanted to charge, say, just two loop batteries, these AA nickel metal hydrides. You don't want to charge these at a full one amp. Probably not a good idea. Uh, you, <laughs> you probably want to go a little lower on the current, so I'd put them in the middle. That's what we're going to do. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, and then, of course, I'd put my uh, bigger cells, like a, a Panasonic, what do I got here, uh, 18650A. I think this is a 3100 milliamp hour rated battery. It's a flat top unprotected. This charger has no problem with it. I'll probably put this on the outside. Now the neat thing is if you just do the two outsides, you'll do one amp each. If you just do one, it's one amp. This isn't a two amp charger, it's just a single amp charger, but it'll do one amp here and one amp here. If you populate all the bays, it switches to 500, so these will charge at 500. Just keep that in mind. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in. Now the neat thing is I didn't have a type C. <laughs> I'm using old school phone where it's still a lightning connector for an Apple. But um, yeah, they sell a really cool power adapter, XTAR, 18 watt. This thing's nice. It's like nine bucks. Um, this will power their fancy chargers too. They got some really cool ones. And this is a uh, Qualcomm based smart charger. Let me just show you. And I'm going to plug this in. So for $9.99, you get yourself a nice little block charger here. And this is the output there. It uh, outputs at 3 amps and 5 volts. Uh, it does 2 amps at 9 volts and 1 and half amps at 12 volts. thought that was pretty neat. Um, and this works really well for this charger. So, and again, if you got a bigger charger, a fancier charger, a lot of times they include this too with their chargers. So I'm going to plug that in. And we're going to undo our wire that we got with the unit. Plug that in. We'll start charging this. Show you how that works. And then we'll do pretty much final thoughts. So yeah, pretty neat setup. Let's go ahead and um, this can be plugged in both ways, which is nice. So if you're fumbling, don't have to worry. Um, you can go upside down, doesn't matter. Okay, so we got that plugged in. And when I plug this in, all the four lights should turn green as standby mode. And if I can reach over there and get that. Okay, so now we're ready to charge. My charger wants to slide over because this cord is only so long. There we go. All right, so yeah, what I would do, because uh, I like to charge, you know, I got my CC Pocket, and then I got my XH Data, and I've been using this a lot. So yeah, I could plug in the charger here. It's just a little slow. Uh, I'd like to charge my batteries a little quicker. I can throw my 18650 in here and charge it at one amp. So um, let's show you that. Uh, we have three different types of 18650s here. The one I showed you, the flat top, this Panasonic. I can toss in here this bay and you can see it's cha changed to red because it's charging nice so right now it's charging at one amp um, I have the XH data this is a, a button top cell but unprotected and I could throw it in this one here there we go yeah you gotta pull it back pretty good on these bigger cells but the little cells are easy to put in and then I have my loop batteries that I want to charge for my CC pocket I stick these in the middle doesn't really matter, but if you're just charging these two, of course, you'd want to put them in the middle for that half amp instead of the full amp. So there we go. So right now we're charging. We're charging at a total of two amps, so all four batteries are charging at uh, a half amp each. So if I take the two middle ones out, these would default to one amp each. You can also charge uh, protected cells. This is an 18650 protected. So I can take out, say, this in a loop. All it's charging, it's not going to hurt anything. And pull this back, put this in, and off I'm going charging that battery. Another cool thing is this charger can charge the big boys. Yeah. 
Look at this guy, 26650. Now I just re did a flashlight review, the uh, work goes, I think it's WK30, and he uses this monster battery in there. And I got decided to get a couple of these protected cells um, for a project, and I might use them in that flashlight too. Um, I just love the capacity. So we'll go ahead and take this XH data out here, and we'll throw in this protected cell to show you that it can charge at 26650 along with the others. Just a pretty cool setup. So you're ready to rock. I mean, if you got yourself a, a flashlight like this one here, this is a dive light. Um, it has no external USB. You just have to unscrew it to get to your battery. To charge it up, you're going to need a dedicated charger. And this is all you really need, to be honest with you. You don't have to have super displays or anything like that. You already know what it's charging at. You know it's going to peak properly. Because I have checked the voltages, and it seems solid. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. And then when they're done, these will all turn nice and green, telling us they are fully charged. Um, yeah, but on the road, you'd probably want uh, some type of band or, or like one of those uh, Velcro strips to go around the batteries to hold them in place. You know, if you're charging on the run and you're hitting bumps, just to keep them from popping loose while they're charging. Um, probably safer to charge them when you're not on the move, <laughs> just to be on the safe side. But there you go. Star MC4S. It gets a vote for me because it's it's 14 bucks, uh, and you're pretty much ready to go. If you already got the power source, you're already using this for your high-end Samsung phone. Um, you know, you got your devices, your tablets that use Type C. Um, you can just use that adapter, plug it right into here, um, and, you're, and you're you know you're, you're you're good. You don't need anything else. But if you have to, you can always buy this little wall adapter for 9.99 and use it for other things too, which is great. It powers quite a bit. But as you can see, rocking out right here. Real simple, and that's key. Simplicity is key. Um, but yeah, I suggested you about, about the smaller batteries. Anything smaller, double A, I wouldn't probably recommend because half amp is your minimum on here. And anything smaller than that uh, 16340 would probably be, uh, you want to use in a charger that you can go down to 300 or 250 or even 150 if you can. Um, but there's very few of those out there, so you'll have a hard time finding that. So yeah, I think I covered everything. It supports the MI. Um, IMRs, INRs, and ICRs, those, all those composite lithiums, which is nice. Again, lightweight and portable, very simple, and very handy to have when you have your radios and flashlights you need to charge up, your XH datas, you know, all these neat things. You're ready to rock with this guy. So there we are. The X-Star MC4S gets recommended by, definitely, all day long. Um, I have the I think the other brands, the Lido, Kala, I don't know. This X Star actually seems like a better quality product. I'm actually enjoying using it. And again, very simple, very easy. But stay tuned to this channel. I'm going to have more of these X Star chargers because I do like some of those color displays they have. Definitely. So if you enjoyed the video, give me a big like. You guys are awesome. Hope I introduced you to something simple. You might pick it up. Again, easy. It's all you need for simple charging. Um, it's a better charger than the ones that come with the Loops because you can charge faster. You don't have to spend the big money on their fast chargers. And uh, you're ready to rock. And this is going to do what you want um, in a good setup. Okay, and, uh, of course, subscribe at the bell icon. Get notified of future videos featuring X-Star branded chargers and other chargers. I'm definitely going to feature that in this channel because I believe there's a big want for this product. Uh, people, like I say, use their uh, loops and their radios and their flashlights. They have 18650s the and they want to just have everything all in one shot. I love being able to do all my batteries together like this. So definitely subscribe. And of course, three, comment below what you think about X-Star brand and this model. Give me some ideas. And if I miss an X-Star and you have a certain model that you like, just mention it and I'll review it on this channel. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.